Maze TV, and uh, today I'm going to talk about my two premier top picks for my top rappers, man. Uh, Benny the Butcher and Ransom. We're going to take the clock back to 2016 when Benny the Butcher dropped um, my first brick. Uh, and Ransom dropped The History of Violence. Now on Benny the Butcher's My First Brick, man, it's a classic. From the beginning to end, it's that gangster, but it's also lyrical. You know, yeah, he opened my eyes. Really, Wyatt Salcedo, he was like, man, check this out right here. He was quoting lyrics on the Instagram and stuff like that. I'm like, man, okay. And when I listened to the album, Instant Classic, I didn't have to think about it. It was it was dope from beginning to end. Uh, I just couldn't believe this East Coast cat, you know, was spitting that gangster, but he was also, like, so lyrical. Uh, East Coast is known for lyrical, and they're kind of known for gangster, but not not quite like that, man. To me, he was he was talking about all kinds of stuff, man. He was talking about, you know, slinging the dope and stuff like that. But it just had that classic, you know, mafioso feel to it. So he just had that flow, just the way that he described it, how he was going to go about everything. Uh, perfect. The album was perfect, man. Yeah, I put it up against any other project that he ever put out. And then Ransom, History of Violence. Uh, Ransom, when I did my research on him, his uh, his flow was different when he came out. You know, it wasn't anything special or anything like that. But then on the history of violence, he tapped into what I like to call his golden voice, his God flow. And when he tap taps into that God flow, it's just like, man, it's effortless for him. And he's all lyrical, man. He he makes you think. You know, it's not necessarily gangster. Some of it is, but it's also conscious. It's it's, uh, it's lyrical, and it, it's got that deep baritone. And that's something that, you know, I get from being around my dad. My dad had this real deep voice like that, you know. So everybody that I like to listen to, I like for him to have that baritone voice, man. It, it, it kind of reminds me of my dad, you know, because he had that authority, when somebody comes with, with like a little squeaky voice, a little monotone voice, you know, you're not going to take that person seriously, you know. Uh, but if somebody comes with a baritone voice, it's going to command respect. But Ransom, after the history of violence, he just went on a tear, man. Uh, the greatest rapper alive. It's all the God flow. It's all the God flow. And then all his EPs, man, after that. Man, the directors cut one and two and three and deleted scenes. Wow. 2020. And couldn't stop him. And then, of course, Benny had the, the plugs I met and Tanner Talk 3. And then the plugs I met too. Everybody knows I love that album. Everybody knows. I mean, that's my album of the year. Um, nothing could top it, you know, I can almost recite it. I listened to it so many times. Uh, but also, also another album of the year is that seven EP that Ransom put out. So like I said, these guys are my top guys, man. They're my go-to guys. I know they're never going to disappoint. And Heavy as the Head, the full length. And then we got the Coupe de Grasse that's coming at the end of the month. Wow, crime scenes at the beginning of the year. He's on a tear, Ransom. You know, you can't stop this guy. You can't stop Benny. Man, I mean, it's like Grisella just swooped up uh, Rome Streets. And what would happen if they scooped up Ransom on Griselda? Man, it'd be perfect. It'd be like the Holy Trinity, you know? You'd have Benny, you'd have Conway, and Ransom. And Rome Streets and West Side Gun. Man, dream team. And that's what I said. All these people, you know, that's what this hat's all about. This is that Buffalo hat. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. This is what it's about right now. 
This is what it is about right now. I mean, not all the rappers are from Buffalo, but it all started from these cats. Ransom, uh, he was featured on all, you know, the Griselda projects here. That's how I, I, I found him. Because um, admittedly, I didn't have the other projects, but I found him through Griselda. That's why I said everything goes back to Griselda. Um, you know, this is what it's about. Benny, Westside Gun, and Conway. They're the gatekeepers to all this rap stuff right now. You feel me? All right. I'll catch you on the next one.